Five to shoot. He puts it up from deep. He got it! Jameer Young with ice water in his veins! Melo means home. Where I was born and raised, um, the way I act and the way I think um, all comes from me being from Maryland. I don't want to be from anywhere else. And I'm just glad to be able to represent Maryland. I'm from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, basketball county, where a lot of hoopers grow up and play. It's just in the water a little bit. <laughs> I went to DeMatha High School. It's a lot of history with the Stags when it comes to basketball. A lot of great players came through there. Seeing guys like Victor Oladipo, Quinn Cook, Markel Foltz, the Grant brothers come through there and do special things. I just wanted to do something like that. For my junior year, we actually won three championships. And then we returned really everybody from the starting five. So we were ranked pretty high going into my senior season where we was able to win states in the Alhambra. Came up short again in the WCAC Final Four game, but we had a good run. My college recruitment, it came along pretty slow. Not really any Power Five conferences were coming after me at, at this time. I ended up at University of Charlotte. Well, he was at Charlotte. We drove to pretty much every home game, which was about six hours. My philosophy always was I would support him no matter where he was. I went there for my first three years, but I decided to test the waters. When you start and rebuild a program, one of your biggest keys is finding young men that have your like-minded culture, like-minded goals. And from the first minute I talked to Jameer, it was evident that not only did he want to come home and play in his home state, but he had the same goals for this program that we wanted as a staff. Jameer always wanted to go to Maryland. When the opportunity opened up for him, it just felt right. Young wide open, got it! It's a dream come true wearing the hometown across your chest and being able to represent that in front of thousands of fans is something that I've always dreamed of doing. I think it's important that he's home because he wanted to do something special for Maryland. And being able to watch him and watch him in front of all of his friends and his family, game after game, has been incredible because I think it helps inspire him. I love it. I love it. first player in 20 years to come to Maryland from DeMatha. I actually didn't know until after I committed, but it means a lot. Being able to wear the Maryland jersey is very important to him. He loves competing with Maryland on his chest. He takes pride in that. DeMatha is only five minutes from College Park. Literally come out the front of campus, make a right. You got about five to 10 lights. A lot of trophies. Yeah. <laughs> Back in 2018, that was a good Alhambra. Yeah. Oh, that was Alhambra. Yeah. <laughs> that was we won three our junior year. But Remember everybody was signing the jerseys? Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I'm the oldest of four. My mom, she's everything to me. She's my backbone. She's really made a lot of sacrifices for me and my siblings. You miss it? A little bit. Me too? I miss it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I miss this gym. You remember the crowds, how everybody would be standing yeah, all, right. all along. And the gym Crazy. would be rocking, I know. Jameer is my firstborn son. We are very close. I love him dearly. I'm extremely proud of him. As a parent, I was parenting him at first and supporting him and teaching him and guiding him. And I've now moved into the role of being kind of a consultant. You know, I give him my advice, but he's, he's an adult, so he makes his own decisions. But he's been a true blessing for me in every way to raise. Do you remember how you were always the underdog and you were so, 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 I'm too small for this, I'm too small for that. They don't play me, they don't do this, they don't do that, right? And look at you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You're proud. Are you grateful? Forever. Something that my mom 
instilled in me is just to, you know, work hard. Nobody's really going to give you anything. You have to go out and get what you want. You have to make sacrifices and you have to be disciplined if you want to be great. I'm just trying to do anything I can to make sure that she has a better life.